Toronto FC extended its unbeaten streak to six games and kept pace with Eastern Conference leading New York City FC following a convincing 3-1 win away to the Philadelphia Union on Saturday night. The trio of first-half goals, including a spectacular effort by Sebastian Giovinco, propelled the Reds to their first road win of the Major League Soccer regular season since April 23rd. Drew Moore and Jovi Altidor also scored for Toronto, who looks the serious threat to challenge for top spot in East and first place overall in milliliters as the season enters the final stretch. A must-win game for TFC This was a must-win game for Toronto FC. Not a must-win in the sense that if TFC didn't collect three points they'd be eliminated from playoff contention but a must-win in that they needed a convincing victory after their credibility as title contenders came into question after last week's disappointing result in Houston where they dropped points to a 10-man Dynamo side in a 1-1 to -one draw. A must-win in that they needed to stay hot on the heels of NYCFC, who beat the LA Galaxy earlier in the day. Toronto remains one point back of the club from the Big Apple with a game in hand. A must-win in that they had to put some distance between themselves and Philadelphia who remained in fourth place but dropped six points back of Toronto. A must win in that they needed to get the monkey off their back by winning their first game away from home in four months at a critical time in the season when points, especially road points, are critically important. Overlooking the breakdown on the one goal Toronto conceded, this was a balanced effort from the Reds. Giovinco and Altidore spearheaded an attack that was ably abetted by solid midfield work from Michael Bradley, Marquis Delgado and the returning Will Johnson while Moore quarterback to defense that gave very little away. Goalkeeper Alex Bono wasn't called upon to make many saves. When he was, he made them. TFC just didn't need a win in Philadelphia. They needed to make a statement. That's exactly what the Reds did in putting forth one of their best overall performances of the season. Three quality goals. All three of Toronto's goals on this night were of the highest quality. There wasn't a single cheap one in the bunch. Giovinco gave TFC the lead after 18 minutes on a tremendous through ball from Marquis Delgado from the right flank. The Italian managed to take the pass, played slightly behind him, then strived by flicking it with his back heel and then racing onto it before firing a laser shot off both posts and in. It was a lovely ball from Delgado, but an even better finish from the Italian. Six minutes after Ken Tribbett tied things up for the Union. Bradley delivered a pinpoint free kick from the right wing for Moore who headed it home from deep inside the penalty area. Moore's finish was textbook, and the service provided to him by TFC's captain was exquisite. Then just before halftime, Johnson played the ball forward for Altidor who made a quick turn and then expertly used his size and strength to fight off a number of Philadelphia players before scoring on a sublime finish with the outside of his foot. Altidore continues hot streak A Lidor was subbed out in the 74th minute, making way for Canadian international Tosane Ricketts, who provided TFC with some fresh legs. Altidore looked exhausted after putting in another solid day's work at the office. The American international's goal just before halftime essentially sealed the win for the Rubs, and his tireless hold-up play and defensive work through the opening 45 minutes caused plenty of problems for the Union's defense. Altidore now has four goals and an assist in six games too as a starter since returning from injury on July 23rd versus DC United. Before his lengthy injury layoff, he went eight games without scoring. But even during that dry spell, he was still working hard off the ball and doing all the things that forwards need to do, but don't necessarily get credit for from fans and pundits. He's yet to play a full 90 minutes since returning, but that will come. In the meantime, Altidor has rediscovered his form, and he is playing some of his best soccer since signing with TFC and it's no accident that his hot streak coincides with TFC's six-game unbeaten run. For Toronto to win games on a consistent basis it needs its top players to consistently be at their best. Altidor has been at his best since coming back from injury. Notes, with 16 goals this season Giovinco is now tied with NYCFC's David Phillip for the league lead. Toronto finishes its three-game road trip against Orlando City at the Citrus Bowl on Wednesday before returning home to face a Montreal impact next Saturday.